three days, 64 square feet, and an extremely limited budget to build an entire new setup. Let's make it happen. All right, so sorry if it's a little echoey in here without everything here. I've got a couple days off from work. You've probably heard it a million times. When you work from home, you kind of get stale of your office pretty quick. The problem with that is I need to have it done within the next three days and I don't have a whole bunch of money to work with. So I reached out to a couple companies to see if they could help me out with the rebuilding of this entire space. And uh, some of them said yes, so I'm pretty hyped for that. I'll share those with you in a minute. So that covers a lot of the financial issues. I'm super grateful for them, but the plan for the next three days is gonna be get the desk in here today, see what I'm working with, come up with a plan for the next two days and hopefully execute. But I'm running out of time for today, so let's get this desk set up. So this is the Vari electric standing desk with their comfort edge design. What makes this stand out over other desks is it has this sloped edge on it. So it's really comfortable for somebody like me who rests my arms on the edge of the desk all day. I went with the 60 by 30 option, wanted something a little bit deeper than my last desk, but they also offer in light wood and a couple different sizes. It's got this matte black keypad with four height adjustable presets, a couple different mounting holes underneath for things such as their cable management tray. And they also sent out their black desk shelf. I really like my Belolo one, but I wanted something black for this new setup and I think this will fit perfectly. So I spent pretty much the entire night just looking on Instagram, Pinterest, and just moving things around in this room trying to figure out what the ideal setup would be for in here. I had a ton of different ideas and I think I finally landed on one. The plan is going to be to do the wood slat walls on the right and left side of the desk but leave the middle part black. I really didn't want to do the wood slat wall idea just because I feel like it's getting kind of overplayed at this point. Everybody's doing it but there's a reason for that. It looks good. So that means the PC is going to have to come off the wall and I do have a stand for it still but I think I'm going to go with a black case. I don't want to do any white in here anymore. So I'm going to need to grab a new case for that. I'm going to go to Home Depot and grab some wood for the slat walls because I don't know if you guys know this, everybody that buys those slat wall panels, they are so expensive. It's so much easier to just build it yourself. I know a lot of people don't really have the room or the tools to do so, but if you can figure it out, it's like extremely cheaper. We'll tally it all up at the end. Not 100% sure what I want to do for lighting yet. I want to see how everything looks in here once it's all put together. So uh, let's get to work. So I just grabbed all the lumber. Um, I don't know if you guys will be able to see this, but it's beautiful skies over there and completely rainy gray skies over here, which is the direction of my house. So I'm hoping we get lucky when I get home. It's not raining. We'll be able to chop these boys up, sand them down and stain them. But if not, then uh, I guess we'll have to figure out a plan B. All right, so it looks like we made out all right and the rain slash snow has already passed. And uh, now I'm just gonna cover up the workbench with some towels and we'll get to work. Kind of a blessing in disguise that I wasn't able to finish staining the wood last night because I'm not a huge fan of the color that it came out to be. I mean, I'm sure it could use a second stain anyway, but it's a little bit too red for my liking. So I'm just gonna end up using the old stain that I used for the slat wall that I did over at my gaming setup. It's a little bit darker than I like, but I think it'll work just fine. So I'm gonna get those stained. I switched around the orientation of the room a little bit. I think I like this a little bit better. The desk is gonna go in the corner over here. There's something about working like right up close next to a wall that makes me feel more like 
zoned in. I don't know if that makes any sense. And for the slats, I'll just do this corner over here and possibly this whole wall if I have enough. And I'll probably just get like a ladder to put some plants on or something. But yeah, I'm like a half day behind right now. So I want to get these things stained, get them up on the wall. The PC case, unfortunately, won't be here till tomorrow. I ended up wanting to go with the MZXT H5 Flow, just something all black that'll fit all the setups going forward. And then I think I've got a plan for the empty wall space, but we'll talk about that in a second. I want to get to work on these slats. A little tip if you are doing this yourself, try to grab water-based stain. I used oil and it just takes forever to dry and usually needs a second coat. So that pretty much took up the majority of my day. I patched some holes while I waited for it to dry, but by the time they were dry enough to work with and I was actually able to get them up on the wall, day three was done and I had completely failed at getting this project done in three days. And day four was a bust because I had work all day, but day five, I got hit with a major blessing. Winter storm warning. You're talking about a half a foot to a foot of heavy, wet snow. No be Sunday coming up. A snow day. The perfect opportunity to play catch up. I was able to case swap the PC. I ended up just throwing it on this old monitor stand I have to keep it off the floor and I think it actually works out pretty well. Put together this IKEA shelf that I grabbed the night before and threw up some ambient lighting behind it. These are the Govi neon rope lights. And for the empty wall space, I hung up this poster that I downloaded off Etsy and printed out at Staples, just put it in a picture frame and tossed up these gray sound dampening pads to help with the acoustics. But overall, a really productive snow day. And after five days, going a little bit over budget and a ton of Amazon packages, it's ready for the reveal. All right, and that is my setup going into 2024. Is it gonna stay that way going out of 2024? Probably not, but uh, it's a good start. If you're still here, thanks for watching. Not gonna lie, this was a tough one to film. I didn't realize how much work it was gonna be between filming and thinking about how I'm gonna edit it while actually doing all the work. So yeah, appreciate you if you're still here. All the links should be in the description. If I missed anything, let me know. If you have any questions about anything, feel free to let me know in the comments. But uh, otherwise, that's gonna be it for today, guys. Thanks a lot for watching again, and uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.